Porsche is taking things to a whole new level. Who would have thought that bringing a spaceship into water is a possibility? Let's take a look at it. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. For this video we will take a look at Porsche's super yacht that looks like a spaceship. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. The $32 million Royal Falcon 1 has the appearance of a Porsche 911 crossed with a future spacecraft. That should come as no surprise given that Royal Falcon fleet worked with Porsche's design arm Studio FA Porsche to create this super yacht. The ship's sleek aesthetics and lavish facilities set it apart from other yachts in its class, and the designers definitely took inspiration from Porsche's fast sports cars. Today, we'll give you a tour of an ultra-luxurious superyacht created by Porsche. You'll be shown everything from the sun deck to the stunning master bedroom as well as the sumptuous features featured on each level. Let's get this started. It took a long time and a lot of effort to create the Royal Falcon 1. The Royal Falcon 1 took far longer to create than other super yachts, which take 3 to 4 years to build. The Royal Falcon fleet contacted Studio FA Porsche with the basic notion of building a spaceship that could go over water. Neither of them anticipated the process taking 10 years. It was no easy task to design this magnificent super yacht. For starters, Royal Falcon 1 boasts a one-of-a-kind multi-hole design by naval architectural firm Incat Crowther. That's not something you see very often in the yachting world. Royal Falcon 1 is distinguished by its catamaran design. Let's face it, a lot of boats nowadays look the same. In the ports of Monaco and Palm Beach, you'll witness rows upon rows of similar yachts, each with their own flair and personality. When it came to creating Royal Falcon 1, Studio FA, Porsche, and Royal Falcon Fleet spared no expense. Porsche is famed for its meticulous attention to detail in the automotive sector, so the Royal Falcon 1 had to meet the same exacting standards. We must say that the end outcome was well worth the time and effort. The Royal Falcon 1's catamaran design isn't the only thing that sets it apart. Its flawless contours and lines give it an out-of-this-world appearance. In a few years, to say this vessel is ahead of its time will be an understatement. Billionaires from all around the world will be interested in yachts like this Royal Falcon 1. So, why did the Royal Falcon 1 fleet team up with Porsche to begin with? It would have been easy for the Singapore-based firm to rest on its laurels. After all, the business is incredibly profitable. The answer is straightforward, more money. What's the use of making millions when you can make billions? Although Royal Falcon 1 is the company's first super yacht, it will not be the last. The Royal Falcon 1 is still for sale for $32 million, but we won't anticipate it being on the market for that long. It will almost certainly be purchased by a millionaire in the market for a new toy. The 135-foot boat is as elegant as it is strong. Twin 4600 horsepower diesel engines and twin Rolls-Royce Kamowa water jets power the Royal Falcon 1. On board, 10 millionaires and 10 crew members may unwind in leisure. With a range of 3200 kilometers, the ship is perfect for extended journeys. You could easily travel from your Hamptons vacation house all the way down to the Caribbean if you own the Royal Falcon 1. This ship is also quick. It has a peak speed of 37 knots and a cruising speed of 30 knots. Royal Falcon 1 has little chance against a paparazzo on a jet ski. Let's take a peek at what's on the top deck or more of Royal Falcon 1. The sun deck is about. Without a jacuzzi, what yacht would be complete? The Royal Falcon 1, for example, features one of those. Imagine unwinding in the jacuzzi while gazing out over the sparkling seas of the French Riviera. You wouldn't have to fantasize if you could afford the Royal Falcon 1. The large sun loungers that surround the jacuzzi are perfect for relaxing and soaking up the rays. The little circular bar placed near the ship's bow is the most noteworthy feature of the sun deck. Those who purchase the Royal Falcon 1 will be able to relax in the jacuzzi while sipping champagne. That sounds like pure bliss. 
The master suite is located on the mid deck and what a master suite it is. The master suite at Royal Falcon 1 is nothing like a 5 star hotel room. There aren't any ornate gold chandeliers or light fixtures to be seen here. Who on the other hand requires that? The Royal Falcon 1's master suite is all on simplicity. A king size bed, luxurious leather seats and a circular dresser that surrounds one of the room's support beams make up the master suite. The master suite comes equipped with an ensuite bathroom, toilet, shower, and sink, but the coolest feature of the master suite is the private open air terrace. It's accessed with automated sliding glass doors. The private deck is circled by blue leather couches, but you can also put up a table on the deck if you wish to dine al fresco. A mimosa and eggs benedict on a private yacht sound pretty nice right about now. The bridge, as well as one of the opulent VIP staterooms, are located on the mid deck. The elegance is maintained. Three additional VIP staterooms may be found on the main deck. They too have a muted and simple design similar to the master suite. Each VIP stateroom includes an ensuite bathroom, including the one on the mid deck. The cottages are fantastic since they're all over water. One of the advantages of the Royal Falcon 1's catamaran design is this. It's not merely for the sake of appearances. Every accommodation has a breathtaking outlook. The extraordinarily lavish saloon, which is located near the stern of the ship, is also positioned on the main deck. It's reached by sliding glass doors that open automatically. Billionaires are not the kind to unlock their own doors. You know, with a bar and a large leather couch, this room is excellent for entertaining. A lengthy dinner table with seating for all 10 passengers is situated between the two. Isn't it wonderful to relax on one of the lovely white chairs while eating caviar and sea urchin? You wouldn't even have to get out of bed to restock your beverage supplies. While you're enjoying your meal, your butler may bring you a glass of bubbly. A handy location close to the bar allows your personal chef to create everything you like in a short amount of time. A long hallway connects the cabins to a separate entertainment space that is distinct from the cabins. It is possible to use this leisure space at the bow for a number of purposes. Despite the fact that the Royal Falcon 1's designs depict an exquisite barroom, they also hint to something a bit more entertaining. It is possible that this location will be transformed into a casino. The main bar can be transformed into a blackjack table and the leather seats and circular drink tables create an ambiance reminiscent of Casino Royale. The bets placed by Royal Falcon 1 are well in excess of what you and I could reasonably afford. Billionaires, however, have no qualms about losing hundreds of thousands of dollars in a single round of blackjack. The hull deck is the Royal Falcon 1's last deck. This is where the engines and crew cabins are located. The tender garage, which is positioned near the stern of the ship, is also housed on the hull deck. A jet boat or a couple of jet skis can be stored on the Royal Falcon 1. The ship even features a crane for deploying and recovering the tender. While the crew prepares the ship for a nighttime celebration, you may spend a day on the water in your jet boat. Billionaires enjoy throwing lavish parties and what better way to have a good time than aboard a boat like the Royal Falcon 1. Here's a fun fact for you. Are you aware that the Royal Falcon 1 is 320 times more costly than the Porsche 11? A Porsche 11 is worth around $100,000. A billionaire, on the other hand, could easily buy both a Royal Falcon 1 and a fleet of 11s. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.